Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on the 6th of January. My pleasure to be here. It will be uh, the uh, noon update and then we'll go straight to the Tiger Technicians Hour, my show from noon to 1 p.m. We're looking at the Dow down only 67 points earlier on. It was way sharper down the futures. You can see here, let me show you in this chart of the futures. See the futures are uh, the Dow futures at this point are just down 66. But they went all the way down to the 28,351 level to test the low that was made. <clears throat> what was it, four days ago? Yep, four days ago. In the futures at 28341. And so far, a successful test. The Dow has not, there we go, the Dow has not taken out the same day low, and that was the low of the, um, right here, test the date. The date is the 31st of um, December. So this is going to be very interesting because with all the bad news over the last few days, overnight again, plus this morning, um, there's an attempt to keep buying the sell-offs. We'll see if that can hold. The VIX index, which had um, a bit of a spike, uh, the high on was around about the 1632 level just uh, Friday. <clears throat> Today's down. It's down at the 1456 level, up 54 cents, after making a new recovery high in leg D at 1639. My suspicion is coming off major highs to get a VIX so quickly <clears throat> into this higher territory above the 200 period moving average. My, my thinking here is that this is a process, and the process I'm going to describe as soon as I do my show in another few minutes. We're going to, in greater detail, how the daily charts, the moving averages are still very positive. Look at the S&P. The S&P is really um, showing strength. It's down 269 at 3232. Now, the S&P, the E-mini, went to a leg E. This is at a leg D in the S&P. At D is where you can expect other things to happen. And uh, look at the QQQ, makes a peak D three days ago, 216.16, 216, uh, trading now at 214.42, no big deal. Well over the 14 period moving average, the black line, but uh, it had to test that green line, the nine period. And if you look at gold, gold screamed higher earlier on. It's still pretty high. It's up 14. It hit a high of 1590.90 on the continuous contract. And look at this. The dollar should be crashing. The dollar's holding quite well. I'll talk more about it when we get back from my Tiger Technicians Hour. Basil Chapman signing off for this noon update at TF and at Dow's down 71.